Hi guys, hope you're well. Happy New Year. Welcome to another advice video. On that last video I asked you to vote for this week's topic and it was between the quarter life crisis and how to excel at work. And how to excel at work just picked quarter life crisis to the post. So that's what we'll be discussing today. Before I begin I want to throw up two other topics that I want you to vote between for next week's discussion and they are between quarter life crisis again I'm going to throw that up because it was a very very popular choice and how to get a completely different brand new job so again what I want you to do is to vote by commenting below and then I'd like you to comment on this video given and leaving advice for those who are watching thank you to all of those who've been sharing that last video on Google Plus and other social networks if you are liking these videos Please empower others and inspire others by sharing this video across the social networks. You are free to do so because sometimes, and as you know, we kind of latch on to a good thing. We get ideas, but we don't want to share it with anybody else. And that's not the whole point of life. There is enough wealth, there's enough health, and there's enough happiness for us all. So we're going to get started. Grab a cup of tea, a drink, whatever. Get a pen and paper because you may need that to write notes. And we shall get straight into this video. How to excel at work. It's always good to have a goal at where you want to get to within your career. And some people may be sat at a job and it's not exactly what they want, but they're within the business that they want to be in and they can see their kind of dream role just there. It's out of reach, but it's how to kind of excel and get to that point. So if you know your position, where you actually want to excel to, have a look at the kind of company structure and have a look at how you can kind of get there companies always kind of set out their structures so you always have like the ceos at the top you have management um below middle management and it kind of goes down like that you can then see the kind of hierarchy of the company and where you actually fit into all of it and how you can kind of get there it's not a defined structure you know some people do jump from being from one thing and they can really can overtake certain stages to get to a top position. Once that's sorted, it's looking at yourself. Are you actually ready to take on extra responsibility and really work hard? Because trust and believe you do not get to the position without putting in extra work. I'd like to say from now on, please do not be a job's worth. And by job's worth, I mean you are that person that if your job is nine to five, you will come in at nine and you will leave your desk at five. You will not do anything extra in your role. You will stick to your role specifics. How can your management see any potential in you if that's what you're doing day in, day out? Sometimes in a business, you have to be seen to be doing more okay for somebody to take you seriously whether that be management higher management even directors of the business they need to sh see that you know this person is really trying to excel at their position and get somewhere and that's how you get people's attention so make sure you go into work a little bit earlier maybe leave a little bit later ask for extra work from people who are a bit senior than you to kind of stretch your knowledge of the business of your position so then you can just get in there little by little you're learning extra bits outside of your own job you know kind of comfort zone and that is a good time to actually have a conversation with your manager or whoever is over you about your job call them into a meeting and say I've been here for X amount, and do you know what? You can be there from day one, and that's what I did, okay, in my own job. I got in there and I was like, this is what I want done, but that's specific to my role. With yourselves, you can do that from a week into a job. Be tenacious, okay? Don't just get in there and think, I'm too scared to do anything because I'm new, or I've been here for so long, I shouldn't really kind of like upset the apple cart. If you've got an idea, roll with it. If you want that extra responsibility and extra work, go with it. So, have that meeting with your manager. Say to him or her, you know, I really would like to kind of excel myself and be more of an asset to the team, to the company, to the department, whatever it is. And I'd like to kind of expand my knowledge. I'm really wanting to, to learn more about the business and the way that we work in our department and therefore I'd like to take on more responsibility. Will it be okay if I shadow XYZ for a while and see how he or she gets on with her work because it's interesting to me but it's different to my job. I still want to be doing my job but I just want to do the extra just in case maybe they're away on holiday for a bit. I can take over their role in that time and I can deal with my job but also deal with theirs. 
have new ideas at work. Many companies are just riding the same wave. You know, there's no new ideas coming into the business and sometimes there needs to be, there really does. So again, whether you've been there two weeks, two years, 200 years, bring in new ideas and present them with substance, with reasoning, with graphs, with whatever you want to do to the business on how they can excel at whatever it is they're doing. Sometimes you can get these ideas from, you know, looking at other businesses or things that you've experienced yourself and bring them to management. Now, what I will say with this is to write it down. If you're emailing somebody specifically, make sure that you always keep a copy and I'll tell you why in a bit. And sometimes if you know that it's a good idea and something can work, don't take no for an answer. If one person isn't going to listen to you, go above their head. Obviously don't cut off necks, but seek some other person and put the idea towards them because some people, they don't like to see you grow within your business and they will say no just for the sake of saying no, believe me. But take to somebody else and say, I've had this idea, you know, is this something that could work for our business? And that person, you know, they may say no, but hopefully they'll give you reasons as to why and that maybe they're considering in the future. But whether you have a yes or a no from that person, it shows your initiative in the business. And they won't forget that. They won't forget you or the person who has come to them with these new ideas. Keep them in a file because they will be useful for appraisals and things like that at the end of the year. So when you're talking about pay rises, and justifications as to why you have a whole stack of documents showing your ideas and what you put forward which would justify pay rises in the future. Try, try, try and do extra courses if your company offers extra training on anything, if there's courses that you can do outside your business specific to your role, do them because in the long run it's going to do you a whole heck of good. Trust me on that one. So if you're, I don't know, an accountant, for example, and there's extra levels to accountancy, try and do them. And most businesses do sort of sponsor you to do them. So usually they will pay for this course, but you will have to spend, let's say, two years with the business. That That's kind of what they do. So make sure if it's been presented to you, take it on. If it's not being presented to you, go to your human resources department, ask if there's anything that you can do, any extra training, go to your management, ask about extra training. If not, and if you've got the resources and the money, you can maybe take an outside course to bolster your CV resume, just so you've got um, something behind you which shows, hey, I've gone into accountancy and I've got these certificates behind me, which shows that, you know, I've got a real passion for this, I really want to go far, and you'll be able to command so much money if you eventually either stay and go up in that company or you leave and go to another business. This is going to sound interesting, but present yourself in the way you expect people to sort of respect you and to react to you. So it's as simple as dressing nicely and smartly in the business. You know, if you want to be seen one day as, you know, the head of whatever department or whatever, then present yourself as if you already are that person. People will look at you and they will just think she oozes or he oozes just that respect and just everything about them screams, ah, head of, whatever. If that's the way you want to be treated in the future, start acting like it now. Make sure your outfits are ironed, it's as simple as that. Sometimes um, work, they can have kind of committees for the business, so they would get a whole group of people from different departments together to just talk about the work environment, things that are going on in the business, how to kind of um, bolster morale with employees. I think it's really good if you get involved in that as well because it shows that you care about the business, you know, you want to bring the business out to be the best that it could be. So having all of that as well, backing you up just shows that, hey, this person wants to excel. Number two, they really care about this business. They want to be in this business for a long time. And three, you know, they want to call this place and what they're doing their career and 
that they're growing with one company and I think that's really important so if you've got any groups like that even if it's like social groups as well at the workplace get involved in those kind of extra bits of the business also it keeps you aware of what's actually going on with the business too take an actual interest as to what is actually happening with the business that you're working and I know some of you may think oh my goodness those newsletters that comes around I just delete them actually have a read with them because sometimes they can be used to your advantage if you want people to remember you in the business then strike up conversations with people who are outside of your department and I would say hit for those big guys, the big wigs, the CEOs, the directors you may see walking about have a read of the newsletter and then go up to one and say well hey I was reading through our newsletter and I saw the finances for XYZ or the big wins that we had with XYZ you know I think it's really a good idea what, what do you think what's your take trust and believe they will not forget a face and they will somehow put a name to you if they don't know already or just introduce yourself they will know who you are and that hey that girl or that guy in whatever department I like her people will remember so you may need to get in contact with them at some stage in the future so strike that conversation about business people love talking about business so do that be friendly at work it's I know it's so difficult if you work in a work environment where people aren't, I know, but strike up conversations with people and don't be, don't be afraid of the big directors and people like that. Introduce yourself, if they do not know who you are, introduce yourself. Again, like I've just said, you want them to be able to put a face to your name, you just don't want to be Debbie in accounts or something. You want to be that person so they remember you strike up those conversations because sometimes for whatever reason they may be a position going and because you've had conversations because you've shown your tenacity because you've combined all these things together that that one person the least person you expect may say well you know that Sarah down in whatever department she may be a good fit you know ask her to forward her CV you know let me have a look at it Miracles do happen, it's happened before. So make yourself known, I don't mean be at work shouting and being the work clown or anything like that. It's all about presenting yourself in a good way, striking up the conversation, talking about business, but also combining your kind of interests outside of work as well. So people can see that you are human, but you know, you enjoy working here and you want to excel. And believe me, it works. It does take a little while to get to where you want to be, but what I will say is that you should see a career progression within about two years of being in a particular role. If you are still stuck at two years and you haven't gone anywhere in your job, you really have to reevaluate yourself because it will get to five years and you're still in the same role. You should be moving up that ladder as quickly as possible to better yourself. You do not want to be sat on the same salary five, 10, 20 years down the line. And believe me, there are people who are, and you don't want that to be just that kind of government kind of standard uh, salary raise. You want your management to be saying to you, well, hey, Tim over there, let's give him a five grand raise. So go for it, aim high, keep focused and keep determined. What I will say now, and this is very serious, if you are working for a company who you've expressed all this to, you have tried every avenue, you have worked your socks off, you are not a job's worth, but they haven't done anything, they haven't given you a pay rise, they haven't acknowledged what you've done, you are sat in the same position and it's been year upon year upon year and you haven't got anywhere and they're not looking to put you anywhere, you have to leave. You can get that same job at another company who's willing willing to give you much more money, willing to actually help you progress in that career, okay? So sometimes you have to bite the bullet and you've got to think, I've given enough to one place, it's time to move on. And believe me, there are better things out there. So sit down with yourself. If you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, hmm, I've been in my job for like seven years and I've done everything you said, Dawn, and, uh nothing's come of it and I've really worked hard 100% it's time to leave so I hope that was helpful please leave your comments below for those of you 
who you know you've had other ideas like i said in my last video i could be here for days upon days upon days just giving you tips but these are the ones i think that are quite important like this video if you want to see more kind of advice videos like i said i'm going to try and schedule them in remember to share this content with your friends and your family because every little bit of information helps other people and sometimes you don't know what someone's going through and you may post that video on your facebook and someone goes do you know what you have just saved me so take care guys Bye.